Hello and welcome to your weekly news highlights with me, Hasina Mumtaz. Here are your top stories. It's been four days since the tragic building collapse in Savar. However, the rescue mission continues to find survivors. The Savar rescuers believed that there may still be more people who are alive and are trapped in the building's rubble. One of the challenges is getting dead bodies out as the pillars supporting the building's foundation have to be cut and this makes it risky for the people who are still alive in the rubble as the pillars could fall and crush them. The rubble has to be removed very carefully. An additional issue facing rescuers is that they themselves can get trapped in the rubble if the building falls down. This is seriously hampering the rescue efforts at present and a larger scale operation to remove bodies cannot be executed until rescuers are certain that there are no more survivors. Amidst these tragic circumstances, the fight for life goes on as two babies have been born in the rubble. They have been rescued and the mother, who has also been rescued, is well. There have been four arrests so far. Two garment factory owners, the wife of the owner of the building and the surveyor. Here in London, mass protests have been held outside the Primark store in Oxford Street and across the pond, a protest was held outside a Gap store in New York. The newly elected president of Bangladesh, Abdul Hamid the Advocate, has sought cooperation from all in discharging his duties during this crisis. He said this during a speech at ID Hall where a reception was held to honour him for obtaining the Swadinota Purushkar in 2013. At this time, other leaders present at the occasion asked him to search for some light during these dark days faced by the country. Our correspondent Ahmed Pupul reports. The Honourable President was very emotional as speakers at the ID Hall praised his good deeds and good behaviour. Saeed Ashraful Islam said they will miss their favourite leader in the Parliament building as they have not seen a Parliament without him thus far. Jasod leader Moinuddin Khan Badal said that Bangladesh has seen a lot of presidents but for the care of the country Mr Hamid is unsurpassable. He praised him for wearing sandals with his western suited attire. Tufail Ahmad said that the new president is the symbol of unity for all parties in Bangladesh. HM Ershad said at present there seems to be darkness in the country and he invited the president to call all sides to sit down in dialogue during these testing and sad times. The Honourable President came to tears as he said that after 42 years in politics, the time has now come for him to leave Parliament and that he may never return to it. He said that his achievements are unimaginable given the fact that he is the son of a farmer. He sought cooperation and support from all in discharging his duties. He said as the then Speaker he aimed to rid, rid corruption in Parliament. Scholars of peace and conflict studies at the University of Dhaka fear that if the two big parties do not resolve their differences, especially for the national elections, on the issue of a caretaker government or regarding the war crimes trial, then undemocratic forces may gain power. The experts said that in the last two decades, democracy in Bangladesh has deteriorated and bad practices are damaging the nation. Ashikur Rahman Chaudhary reports. Social scientists at the University of Dhaka say that if the two big parties come to a consensus regarding the main issues of free and fair elections and the conditions under which the transition of power can take place, then they should be able to reach compromise positions on minor issues. Professor Ronak Jahan says our opposition thinks that it has to prove that the government is weak on the issue of controlling street protests. She points out that any government usually loses popularity by the second year and by the end of its tenure it tends to lose the election. Dr. Muhammad Najmul Zaman Buyan, another law expert at Dhaka University, says that the colonial attitude has not been abolished and that even today British laws which were made to subjugate the nation are kept in place. He says that parties that struggle for power think like the British during colonial times and see themselves as lords reigning over their servants. He suggested that this attitude should change and perhaps the next generation would be more instrumental in this. Mahbubul Alam Hanif, the Joint Secretary General of Awami League, has said that when the BNP leaders come out of prison, there can be a dialogue with BNP, but that BNP has to take this initiative. Muqsimul Hassan reports. Mahbubul Alam Hanif has said at a press conference at its Awami League office that the opposition is trying to make Bangladesh a failed state by crippling it with unjustified hortals and violence. He was asked by journalists how dialogue is possible when the top leaders of BNP have been imprisoned. He replied that he believes that they will come out according to the due process of law. 
He said that certain quarters of the civil society are propagating numerous theories in order that non-politicians can form an interim government and hold the national elections. He said that this is not acceptable to Awami League because it is not right for unelected representative, representatives to form a government. He reiterated that the elections must be held by the representatives of the people. Giving vent to the party position at a meeting and rally at Zero Point in Dakar, the Forest and Environment Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud reiterated that the more that hotels take place, the more stringent the government will become. Advisor to the BNP chairperson, Samshid Zaman Dudu, in reaction to Saeed Ashraful Islam of Awami League, has said that the national elections will be held under a caretaker government and that if Awami League does not participate in it, then it will become alienated from the people. He said this at a press conference at the Nayapal Town offices of the BNP. He pointed out that Saeed Ashraf has said that after the tenor of the present government, the national elections will be held under the leadership of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the BNP has to participate. He robustly pointed out that the national elections will be held by the end of the year by the caretaker government and Awami League must participate to avoid alienation from voters. That rounds off our summary of the top political stories from Bangladesh. Thank you for watching and join me again at the same time next week. Allah Hafiz.